Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, it's now 2024, that's kind of crazy. Anyways, I got this package. This is the Harry Tora X IMU Full Body Tracking Kit. So this was about 388 US dollars. I bought the actual wireless kit itself and a 2.4 gigahertz adapter so we don't have to deal with Bluetooth. So let's unbox this. Got the scissors here, let's do this. So the Harry Tora X comes from Shiftall, a Japanese company, which I actually recently found out is a subsidiary of Panasonic, which is kind of cool. It is an IMU full body tracking kit, so it uses it uses inertial measurement unit sensors stuff to do the tracking. So it does not need base stations and all that uh, stuff, which makes this also even less expensive than traditional, obviously, base station solutions and all that. And here we go. All right, that's the invoice. Obviously, we're not gonna show that. So as you can see from this, we got the Harry Tor X wireless and the GX6 communication dongle. Right. This, I would believe, is the, yep, okay. So this is the dongle for the Harry Tor X wireless. So we're gonna open this up real quick, actually. So usually the Harry Tor X wireless uses Bluetooth, but um, because of how Bluetooth protocol works, uh, you can only have up to what is it, seven devices connected at one time. So if you use any other wireless peripherals, it's kind of oops. So I bought this uh, dongle so that we don't have to deal with Bluetooth. And this will just use a 2.4 gigahertz proprietary protocol. Anyways, so here's the adapter itself, obviously, and an extension cable, which is kind of nice. And now here is what we've been waiting for the actual kit itself. Oh, this is the warranty safety precautions. Here we go. The Harry Tora X wireless from Shiftall. Nice. All right, let me clean up and we're gonna unbox this. Well, we already unboxed it, but open the actual box. All right, let's open this up. So here we are. I'm really excited for these, okay. So obviously we got the six trackers, we got a USB cable, so we can obviously charge all this. So this USB cable is very interesting. USB-A to six USB-C ports. That is very, <laughs> we need to charge all of this somehow, but damn, six USB-C ports. I've never seen this in one cable. And obviously we have the trackers itself. So you took out one tracker. This is how tiny one tracker is. Damn, and this is really light. I believe it's about 20 grams. This is really light, I'll be honest, wow. Under here also, we got the straps we need so that we can attach them to your body. So, let me go quickly open this up. And here we go, okay, yeah, we got a bunch of straps. So I'm gonna quickly watch that one video they uploaded to their YouTube channel and attach these straps and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is everything we got. A quick recap. Extension cable for the communication dongle. We got the charging cable with USB-A to six USB-C ports. We got a chest tracker, we got a hip tracker, left knee, right knee, right ankle, and left ankle trackers. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna make sure these are charged up and I'll see you on the PC where we'll set up the software. For your reference, this is what it looked like while charging. All right, so now that we're on PC, we're gonna go set this up. All right, so we're over here. We, we got the online manual. Uh, there's actually also a smartphone app which you can use so you don't need to use a PC. For example, if you're on Quest or something. But we're gonna go set this up on PC, obviously. All right, so I already bought it from the Shopify. Let me just go get the download link. All right, let's go ahead and launch the installer. Well, configurator. All right, English, let's start. All right, please select the model. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Harry Tora X wireless. Yep. So we're going to use a dedicated dongle. All right. Accept the tutorial video. I've already checked that. All right. Accept the terms of use. Yep, yep. Totally read that. Agree. All right. And we got to launch it again. So the first thing we're going to do is do a firmware update. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. Your environment does not support online firmware. Uh, please update using Chrome firmware. Oh. All right. We're going to try this in Edge real quick, because I don't want to install Chrome just for this. Um, okay, it works in Edge, right. 
Um, set to update mode. Okay. Oh, here we go. Harry Tor X. So, all right. So we're gonna pair with that, and it's saying to update mode. I guess. All right. It's now in update mode. We're gonna press start update. But we press start update, and oh gosh. Oh, it's that it's in update mode right now. Um. Oh. Okay. Pair. Oh. Okay. We just gotta restart the pair. Oh. Object fail to validate. Oh gosh, I am scared. Okay, I will install Chrome 10. Oh god. Yep. Pair with that. Uh, oh, Chrome. Why is Chrome frozen? Really? Come on, I did not break this already. We're just gonna get my Android device then. So, I got my brother's Android device. We're gonna head on to Chrome and... <laughs> Do that there. Oh, come on. All right, I don't know which one it is, but we're just gonna try that. This one, is it? Transferring firmware? It works, okay. Okay, so yeah, the software update process is definitely very convoluted. Oh, we finally got it working. I did not break my stuff. I'm fine, I'm good. Looks like it's just my Bluetooth adapter is just not good, which to be fair, I bought for like $3 in AliExpress, so not that surprising. <laughs> So I'm going to update all of the trackers and I'll be right back. So we're finally done with the firmware updates for the trackers. Now we can actually configure it. Start. And there we go. Start. So obviously since we're using the this, the dongle, I'm going to go connect that real quick. Harry Tor X wireless. All right. So communication settings. Fix. Disconnect. Push to connect or start or pairing. Oh. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, obviously I don't have it on, but there we go. It's connected. Nice. All right. We're going to go to SteamVR settings. So we're going to install the drivers. Go ahead and install that. All right. Calibration. Put the head mounted display on your head. Oh, okay. Well, I got to actually do this in VR. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly grab my VR headset then. All right. So now that I'm in VR, um, yeah. Um, my height, I am short as hell. Yep, front, and let's calibrate. What my clay has, okay. And, okay. <laughs> yep. Every tour can calibrate without, so you can calibrate without the UI. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so, I'm gonna load into VR chat now. Okay, so, recalibrate it, and... Yeah, this is working. <laughs> Damn, this is, oh, yeah. All right. Yep, this is definitely working. <laughs> All right, let me go and, uh, I don't know, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> it works. Yeah, it's a little scuffed there, actually, to be fair. But All right, so thanks for watching me struggle to uh, set up these full body trackers. It was a little bit convoluted. Cause I'm dumb and also it's new it's I can't really complain that much it's tracking is works well some stuff is a little iffy but it will probably get better I just set these up I really need to uh, adjust the settings and all that but I'll be doing some testing and you can see that uh, right after this outro kind of thing here's some more clips of me testing it